Hi guys, my name is Rachel Helps. I am here with your first tips to living and working in France. Before I get into your first tip, let me tell you a little bit about me. I've been living 17 years in France, living and working. I'm 38 years old. I used to live in Paris. I lived 11 years in Paris, and in 2008, I moved to Nantes. Nantes is two hours away by train from Paris. It's a lot closer to the ocean. So what do I do in France? I am a graphic and web designer. Um, I also teach graphic and web design and design and marketing strategies. I also do coaching for young entrepreneurs and um, young designers. So that's what I've been doing for the last couple of years in France. Um, right now I'm going back to school because I want to become a personal trainer, um, health and fitness coach. So I'm going part-time to school to learn uh, that and also I'm taking yoga classes. I would like to become a yoga instructor and also a Pilates instructor and I'm planning to do that here in France. So let me get into your first tip. Whether you might decide uh, to come over to France, you might want to live for maybe just a couple of months, a year, or you might want to make this a permanent stay. So whether it's a long or short term stay, one thing that you really need is to speak French. So yes, you need to learn French. One, because if you're not a attorney, a doctor, or a scientific writer, um, it's gonna be hard to do business. And also if you're looking for a job, a lot of companies are gonna want you to speak the local language. Also, if you're planning to start your own business, if you don't speak French and you go to networking events, how are you gonna be able to sell your products and services? So that is my first tip for you guys, is to learn French. That's what I did when I moved over to France. I knew that, well, I didn't really know that I was gonna make France my permanent stay, but I knew that I want to stay at least a couple of years in France. So what I did was I studied, I took French classes in uh, San Francisco, um, I had tutors. Um, basically, before I came over, I had a, a very good basics of the grammar. And then when I got over um, to Paris, I had to take uh, another course, uh, maybe two or three months, to actually speak the local language. Because when you learn a state uh, in the United States, as they say, um, you learn the American accent. And there's a lot of things that you you don't get in class as if as you would get in Paris so I would suggest uh, really learn French and also at the time when I came over um, internet online classes um, you can have a language coach um, French speaking language coach in other company uh, in other countries so you have Skype you have all that um, all that you can actually access and help you learn French now you might say oh I'm not you know I'm not that smart or learning another language is very hard I am dyslexic Okay, so if I am able to learn another language and speak it fluently, I think you can too. You just have to put a lot of hard work in it and you just have to practice makes perfect. Like everybody says, so if you, so if you really, really want to come over and you want to make this a long stay or short, you're looking for a job, um, learn French. Um, also, you can come over and basically maybe teach English, but the problem is with that today, English teachers are very poorly, very, very poorly paid. Um, I'll give you an average, an English teacher might make uh, 12 or 13 euros an hour. The problem is with that is that you're not, you don't have full-time hours, so you might have maybe five hours a week or three hours a week of class. And if you're making 12 and 13 euros an hour, you cannot pay your bills with that. Secondly, you're gonna be, you're gonna have a tough competition. There are tons of people that come over, English, English speaking people from London, Germany. Um, so you're also competing with them uh, for the same jobs, for the same English speaking jobs. And last, if that's really not what you like, if teaching English is not your passion, you're gonna come over and you're gonna have a different experience and you're, you're actually gonna hate that job. So, and you're gonna have a different experience. When you learn French, 
I noticed from some people that have been living a long time in France and they, they teach English, I noticed that they have a different experience as opposed to someone who speaks French. Like my experience, um, as to other people that I know, is totally different because my entourage, the people that I associate a lot with and do business with, are French people and I'm always speaking French. And every now and then I might go into an English speaking community and I'll just see, I can see and hear the difference. So I really would advise you to learn French. Um, uh, like I said, there's tons of different uh, online courses that you can take. Enroll in a local school. Uh, find someone who is French speaking uh, via Skype or uh, Google Hangouts. And just try and hook up once a week and chat with them and go slowly. Everything is difficult in life. That is normal. And learning another language is difficult. I know because I learned French and now I'm learning German. I've been practicing German for a while. So if you've seen a while back, a couple of years ago, I put a video on YouTube about me learning a third language. So I hope this tip uh, will help you out. And if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Um, share this video with any of your friends or family who are planning to move to France and actually uh, make it a short or long term stay. And uh, I will see you in a week with tip number two. Okay, talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.